so it's uh, 4.30 on the big morning where we leave soon um, and uh, I've got to get to the airport so better get going flying 7, 10 past 7 okay so <clears throat> we've arrived at Bristol airport um, very tired it's still um, it's only 6.30 so I think I'll have a bit of breakfast I've got um, <clears throat> I said I was going to be blogging all the way through this and to do that I got myself a little uh, Easy jet little selfie departure stick to Edinburgh flight number 421 final call Anyway. Now closing at gate 31. Um, yeah, you know, Bluetooth enabled. Okay, so apparently you can press the button and it takes pictures and such. And um, a, a fiver from Wilkinson's. 4 99 Wilkinson's. So I haven't even actually plucked up the carriage to use this in front of people yet. You know, it's, um, it's going to be a little weird. But uh, I'm just going to have to get over that. And then, uh, what else we got here? Oh. Got me book. My nerdy book, which is um, basically, uh, it's, uh, it's X-Files in the 1920s, I guess you could call it. That's all it is. Sci-fi horror. Anyway, speak soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. So, got to soon, finally got to my room. Which is quite nice, as you can all see, I'm sure. It's, it's modest, but it'll suffice. Um, we've got um, our introduction, and then uh, Dr. Lynn Evans is going to be um, apparently having drinks with us, which is amazing. Now, Dr. Lynn Evans is, or was actually, ahead in the project, leading uh, the project at uh, the Large Hadron Collider at, at CERN. Um, for a number of years and he presided over the discovery of um, the famous Higgs boson which was in the news and he's also um, from Aberdeer so just down the road so it's nice to see really it's nice to know that um, a Welsh physicist was at one point running this show so um, I'm sure there'll be more to see later on but um, that's enough for now I know what you're thinking, you know, someone's obviously filming uh, Mr. Red here, you know, um, and you'd be wrong um, because this is the, the first outing of the, the selfie stick, which I hope to use a lot more of. Now, um, I'm going to have to get over the notion of using this in public, which is going to be difficult. I am going to look like an idiot. I have to accept that. And I have to realise that I'll never see any of these people again, most likely. So... Just, just get on with it, I suppose. Um, so the selfie stick works well. Yeah, look, Ooh, it's okay. You're all right. You're all right. You're okay. Uh, oh, I had this as well. All right, look at this. I guess so. oh, it's backwards, is it? Never mind. But anyway, it's got a picture of the CERN logo and my name on it. <laughs> Check that out. Um, uh, a little fact about CERN as well. Um, uh, I just checked the Wi-Fi here um, just to see how fast it was because it seemed to be a bit quick um, and uh, it's actually like 150 megabytes per second which for a lot of people I know that will mean a great deal to many people but that's like really really fast um, you know at home if you were to get like 20 then that would be considered a really really fast in internet connection but 150 megabytes per second here that's just through the wi-fi as well Anyway, the nerds who are listening to this will appreciate how quick that is. I'll put a little picture up um, to, to show you what I mean, because uh, I took a, a snapshot of it on my phone. Um, but then this is where the internet was invented. Ah, yeah. So, I mean, as well as discovering particles in physics, this is the home of the internet. So, you might have heard of the chap, um, Sir Tim Berners-Lee. He was on the Olympic opening ceremony doing his thing. But he uh, was a physicist here, uh, a computer physicist here, uh, who uh, was looking for a way of exchanging information without passing on bits of paper, basically. And he was the first person to use the HTTP protocol. 
and um, invented the World Wide Web. Now, you know, when did that happen? I hear you say, 1989, so it's 2016 now. So the internet is only, good God, it's only 27 years old. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? So I, I am seven years older than the internet. I'm 34, I'm seven years old. The internet didn't even exist when I was a, a little baby. So, um, how weird is that? It's so strange. Because the internet's kind of a big deal now, isn't it? Anyway, more later. Bye.